Previously on our playthrough of the Stanley Parable. Wrong foot here. <gasps> you heartless bastard. Feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Oh, I no, did. that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Let's just jump straight back into it. Still can't input things. I wonder, what if I go through the left door then? All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Yes, I think. Why? What is going on? Huh? Strange. I'm confused. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay then, Mr. Narrator, I will do it. But I'm here, now what? Okay, back to the meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. True. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay then, let's go back to the office. <gasps> the broom closet! <gasps> a broom, a broom! A Stanley broom. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around oh, and sure. got back on track. Sure, can I not take some duct tape perhaps? A wrench? No? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Hmm. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. But I want a spanner. Gib. Gib spanner, please. Hmm. What if it I just. It's baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there, doing sweet F.A. <laughs> sweet F.A. Indeed I am. Indeed I am. Are you... are you really still in the broom closet? Yes. Standing around doing nothing? Yes. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. Just because. I feel like this is truly the meaning of the game. To be inside of the broom you closet. You there's no choice or anything in here, right? Mm -hmm. If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. But are I you sure? I would have thought to mention it. Mm. But this could be the cornerstone of everything. This. Could Maybe be to you, this is somehow game. its own branching path. Maybe yeah. when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Did you I get hope the your friends find ending? this concerning. <gasps> ah, they're always concerned. Don't Stanley need to worry about that. He was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That wow. or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. What? What? I'm just... What? Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this yeah. broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. When very in a situation true. like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. That would be appreciated. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human <laughs> physiological vulnerabilities. Oh, it's no. indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove wow. their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer. Please making do. sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. Mm. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. <laughs> All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay, then. Okay. I am ah, second person. player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Mean. Cruel. But hey, we have a downstairs. Coming to a staircase, mm. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I did not. I am second player. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? I am second player. 
Ah, a red light. Delightful. Okay. A car. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Yes. Admitting he had left his post during work hours. Oof. He might be fired for that. True. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Mm. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Maybe. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. Yeah. None of it made any logical sense. None of it? And as Stanley mm -hmm. pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For Such example, as... why couldn't he see his feet when he looked <gasps> down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. Oh. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Ah! Then no. he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Good point. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, mm -hmm. the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, mm -hmm. believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Wow. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. Mm -hmm. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, yes. he thought to himself. Please, I'm through with up. this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. No. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife mm. and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Yeah. My life is normal. I am normal. What is normal? Everything will be fine. Will it? Really? I am okay. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> nope. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Ah. Uh. Okay. Any reason? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man 
who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. What? And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Okay. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. <laughs> and in that moment, she thought uh -huh. to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Huh. Wow. No? Really? Seriously? Wait, this is my room? Oh. Oh. Uh, what? How do I... Can I just press buttons or... I can't do anything. I'm just trapped. Help? I'll just keep clicking the door until it works, I suppose. This is bizarre. What is going on? Help, anybody. So, now what? Was this supposed to happen? Okay, so I am pretty sure that this is one of the endings. I know there's multiple, but um, it looks like Stanley is forever trapped in the room. Gets to push buttons all day, every day for the rest of his many, many days. Well, probably not many days, because I don't see any snacks in here or... Is this empty? Yep, that's empty, so he's gonna die in about, I don't know, a week, maybe, perhaps? This is interesting. I might play through this again and see what endings I get. I don't know. I really hope you enjoyed watching me play this game. It was lots of fun. It's a little bit weird, a little bit strange. I will be playing it again. I want a better ending than being stuck in that room. If you did enjoy this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up down below, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, that's always greatly appreciated, and feel free to leave a comment if you would like to see me do this again, maybe stream it over on Twitch, maybe stream it here on YouTube, we'll see. But yes, I will see you next time guys, bye!